today on Be Something Wonderful, three steps to your wish fulfilled. It's so done. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. One of my clients was asking about persistence. And she said, Tom, I've been persisting in my imaginal scene. I've been imagining that, that, that I'm at dinner with my husband and that we're really happy, like it, like we, like it was old times. Because now it seems all, all that we do is work and we're too tired for each other and, and we've got the kids and just things have seemed like that. Every time I tried to talk to him about it, he would always say, you know, it's good. It's good. And, and, and when we, back when we were young, he used to say, you know, we're good together. So now it's gone from we're good together to it's just good. It's good. Like, it's okay. Let's not bother it. Right. So, so I almost don't want to keep talking to him and, and you. And so we talked about, and, and so we talked about her not taking any actions like that. Right. Instead, and, 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 and to adjust the imaginal scene. Right. She was imagining that they're at dinner and that it's like old times, that they were laughing and having a good time. And I said, well, what do you normally do? She goes, well, we normally go to dinner. Okay. I go, okay, but think of this. This that normally going to dinner keeps you sort of trapped in that, in that former or old reality, right? It's, it's the old reality where you went to dinner. So that's what you're really thinking about, right? Even though you're saying you're in your wish fulfilled and you're persisting in that fulfillment, you look around that he hasn't changed and, and, and you're no longer in fulfillment. So what is, first of all, what does persistence really mean? And then we'll get back to the adjustments we made in the results. So persistence is not about efforting to maintain a state of wish fulfilled in linear time, hoping that if you hold on long enough, it will manifest in 3D reality. I've hit this in previous videos, I think, months back. Think about this. That it, if, that's not persistence. That's effort. And now you're looking, right? Remember, persistence is about making the state of wish fulfilled and your new inner reality a natural extension of your state of being. Fulfillment's natural. You want to make it natural. So you've got to be in fulfillment. You're coming from fulfillment. Make fulfillment your natural state throughout the day, right? Not just in that imaginal act. That, 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 that you said that you're persisting in. That's what we're talking about. The state of fulfillment is beyond time and space. Do you hear this? It's beyond time and space. So when you're looking around to see if something's changed, you're tying fulfillment to time and space of 3D reality, a reality that you're saying hasn't changed. So what did we talk about? We said, so I said, so, so create a marginal act of something that's not, that you don't normally do. Maybe you're taking a walk and holding hands. So that's what she did. She imagined that they were taking a walk and holding hands and that he says to her, like the old days, we're so good together. That was the imaginal act. And she, then she persisted in that. And she goes, Tom, and I, 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 I was persisting in it and I, and it was feeling good. And I was not looking, you know, I, I was trying not to look at 3D reality. She goes, it, 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 there felt like some resistance there, but I, I persisted. Nothing happened for a while. And then finally we had, uh, we, we, uh, my husband, uh, said to, said to me, what are you doing Friday night? And I go, what do you mean? We're going out with our friends. We go out with these two friends twice a month. And he goes, he goes, let's do something different. Let, let's go to, let's go to dinner and, 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 um, uh, to a different place. Let's, let's just, let's go on a date is what he said to her. Right. And she goes, well, I have even a better idea. Why don't we just take a walk? And we'll just pick up food as we go along. So they were walking and, and, and having a good time. And he, he never said to her, she said, he never said um, that uh, uh, we're so good together. But they ran into their friends, two friends. <laughs> and, and, um, and, and, and as they were talking, the two friends said, said to them, because they were holding hands, you guys are so cute together. Hear this. So it wasn't exactly what she imagined. But it's certainly, there's a lot of power in that, right? That, that, it, that, that, there, that she took it outside of linear time. She persisted outside of linear time, persisted in the fulfillment of who she was, right? Begin at the end. That makes linear time irrelevant. Manifesting and creating your own reality begins and ends 
in the end. So I want to hit this today. A state of wish fulfilled is timeless. When you imagine and affirm to try to make something happen out there, you are believing it hasn't happened yet. Do you hear this? When, you're, when you imagine a firm to make something happen out there, that's what she was doing under the same old circumstances, dinner, right? When you imagine a firm to try to make something happen out there, you're believing it hasn't happened yet. The processes are to create and experience the inner reality of having and being it right now. That's what all the processes are for, to experience it happening right now. That's what she did outside of time and space. Right? The process is to create that experience, that inner reality of it being done. Right? Enjoy the processes as the end you are looking for versus the means to get something from 3D reality. Do you see the shift here? Now you're not stuck on something happening in the future or in linear time. Enjoy the processes at the end you are looking for versus the means to get something from 3D reality. Reaping equals sowing. Cause equals effect, right? 3D reality bends immediately to your new inner reality. When, when, you believe, when you believe it, you will see it, right? It didn't happen right away for her, right? And th- it didn't even seem like things were getting better. But out of the blue, right? Her husband says, let's go on a date. Now, he's done that before, but it's been a long time. Right? So this was sort of out of the blue. And he was pointing to go to dinner, doing sort of this, doing something different, but doing the same old thing. And she steered it a little bit by saying, let's take a walk. But that's it. She created her own reality. She created something. It, it, manifested, in, it, 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 get, it manifested in something that she really wanted. Right? This is the key here. So, so, when we t- so what, what we talked about is, Tom, what are, what are really um, the steps? Give me, give me, some, give me a process that I, can, that I can use. This was in, 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 in a follow-up session. And although she was using it, and I and go, go get, I, I do better with steps. And I've talked about steps before, and I talked about the AIM manifesting method. Well, today I want to talk about one I talked about a few months ago. I don't remember exactly when, but I call it the HIT method. It's the three steps to fulfillment. In other words, you're hitting the bullseye, you're hitting fulfillment. But really what happens? You've got to be the bullseye, right? So, so, so what's normally missing from our processes is that, is that we go right into the imaginal act, just like she did. As we talked about it, she was going into the imaginal act from a state of not being fulfilled, trying to reach fulfillment through the process. Do you get this? Trying to imagine it. Not only that, imagine some imaginal act, what they normally do, but something else happening in that normal old reality. So, so here's the first step, guys. Before you jump in to the imaginal act, hook up. That's the H of the hit method. The H. Hook up the source. Hook up to that I am awareness. Be fulfillment. That's your first step. Identify embody fulfillment not the thoughts and feelings about fulfillment. Be the fulfillment. Hear this. Normally, what happens is we identify with the thoughts and feelings about fulfillment, but not the state of wish fulfilled. Do you hear this? And we confuse it. She said she was in a state of wish fulfilled, but it was really about her thoughts about fulfillment, how to get fulfilled, right? Embody for identify and body fulfillment, not the thoughts and feelings about fulfillment. Be fulfillment. Be the bullseye. Don't get trapped in the swing circle. This came from us. I forget the spiritual teacher that talks about this, but he compares it to golf, right? And I took golf lessons years ago. I, I, I never really, I couldn't get it. Back then, I wasn't into the, I wasn't really a conscious creator, right? But but what, what he was talking about here, in this particular case, comparing it to the swing circle, right? The, the, that's the circle where you're practicing how to hit the ball. You're practicing your swing, you're practicing your stance, you're trying to get it all right, right? And what happens, you get trapped in the process, you get trapped in the swing circle, you get trapped about how to make fulfillment happen versus just putting your, your, your focus, your attention on the target and hitting the ball. That's the bit. Stop worrying about what it's supposed to feel like 
Am I doing it right? Trying to control the process, right? Because those are the questions that come up. What am I doing wrong? What's going on? How am I supposed to feel, right? Instead, connect with the target, right? Connect with fulfillment. Connect with your I am. Make that the first step. Hook up to source. Hook up to your well-being, right? Trust your natural source of fulfillment. Move from there. That's powerful, guys. So when you have doubt, accept it. Acknowledge you don't believe, right? And so, and so instead of struggling with all that doubt and fear, whether it's going right or whether it's not going to happen, accept it. Instead of resisting it and trying to cope with your doubt, accept it. Bring it in. Then move back to your desired end, right? Why? Because when you're doubting and fear, and you're resisting it, you're back in the swing circle. You're back looking at your stance, looking at, looking at whether you're holding your hands right. As opposed, you're not even looking at the target. You're not even looking at your wish fulfilled. You're not even looking at, at the desired end, right? And not even looking at, and remember, you want to look as the desired end. You want to become the target, right? You want to look as the target, right? So then move back to desire and move back to fulfillment. That frees up that energy that you were using to, 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 to resist that doubt, to, to, to try to fix that doubt or try to fix that fear. You move back to the awareness of your source of fulfillment. Move back. Just let the, the doubt will fade as you don't resist it, as you don't try to fix it, as you don't get down in yourself for having it. You will bring it all in, right? Trying to control life, avoid fear and doubt and avoid failure, right? The, the fear of non-fulfillment, feel that, acknowledge it, acknowledge it as one quantum possibility of an infinite number, and then get out of the swing circle, like in golf, and put your focus on the hole or the target, or your wish fulfilled, move back to fulfillment, right? Once you do that, it takes all the, it takes all the ear out of that, it takes all the, 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 it takes the fear out of the fear. It takes the fear out of the doubt, right? And, and so that's where you get trapped in processes, right? We only fear doubt. We only have doubt and fear when we get trapped in the processes, get trapped in trying to make something happen, get trapped in trying to make fulfillment happen, trying to make ourselves feel it, right? Embrace the negative, then let it go, right? Fear is resistance to the possibility of non-fulfillment. So, so don't resist non-fulfillment. Acknowledge non-fulfillment as one quantum possibility out of an infinite number and that you're choosing another. But you're not going to get attached to it. You're not going to worry about it. You're not going to get trapped in the swing circle practicing your stance and your swing to see if everything's okay. You're going to be focused on the end, on your desired end. You're going to put yourself in your desired end as if it's already done. And then you're just going to swing right? Bring it all to awareness, guys. Bring it all to awareness. So, resi <laughs> excuse me. resisting thoughts and feelings of non-fulfillment disconnects you from your source. Do you hear this? Resisting, it's just resisting the thoughts and, feelment, the thoughts and feelings of non-fulfillment that disconnects you from your source. Accept non-fulfillment as one quantum possibility and then choose again. Focus on your desired outcome. Focus on fulfillment right? That's step one. That's the, the step one of the hit method, right? Hook up to your source. Hook up to fulfillment first, right? Hook up to your I amness. Hook up to your natural state of fulfillment, your natural well-being, right? And if, and if you have some doubts and fears of non-fulfillment, accept them all. Bring them in and then move your energy back to fulfillment, back to source. Now, they can't, they, now that you're not resisting them, they can't, they can't pop up. And, and, and harm you anymore. You've already acknowledged them, right? Then imagine, that's the second step of the HIT method, it's the I, imagine, feel yourself to, to be or have that which you desire to be or have. Go within your mind's eye. We've talked about this many times that Neville got its method of imagination, right? Create a simple scene that implies your wish has already been fulfilled. A simple scene, not a scene of the desire or the wish, but of its fulfillment. Right? This is what she was doing, right? This was, that dinner scene was more of her desire, her desire to, 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 to have more uh, spontaneity and happiness in her, her marriage or for them to give each other time, right? There was nothing really wrong except she just wanted more. And he did too, right? So it's not a scene of the desire or wish, but of its fulfillment, 
right? And then her walking hand in hand and him saying, imagining that scene of him saying, you know, we're really good together. That is the scene. That, it, that implies fulfillment. That implies they're really good together. And although it, it was their friends who said you're cute together, very powerful manifestation, a very powerful um, uh, 3D um, revealing of what her inner state was, right? Put yourself in the scene in first person. Enter the action. That's what she did. In fact, we talked about that. She felt his hands, right? She was looking up at him through her eyes, right? This is powerful stuff here. So this, then get into a state akin to sleep, right? This is the state that Neville Goddard talks about, a state of drowsiness right before you drop off to sleep or right as you're getting up in the morning, the theta state. Or I often do an alpha state. That's just a very relaxed state not quite as deep as the theta state, and then take a simple scene, a simple scene. Example, what Neville Goddard uses and what I've talked about before, someone congratulating you, right, as an, as an example, or the scene that she was talking about. Feel the gratitude and conviction of it, of it being done. Feel that gratitude, right? Feel the gratification of the gratitude, right? Tell then, Okay, so that's the state akin to sleep. So that's your imaginal act. That's the I. Then the third state, the T, tell the new story and only the new story. This is what we talked about yesterday in, in, in the, the one process that, that if, you're gonna, if you could choose one process, what would it be to tell a new story? Neville talks about this as you match the story to your wish fulfilled, right? To your imaginal scene, to your imagined end. Then you create a, a invisible uh, connection to, from, from your inner state to your outer state in 3D, just like my client did, right? Inner speech reveals the state of consciousness from which you view the world. Neville got it, right? Make your inner speech match your wish fulfilled. Two important things. So you're imagining your wish fulfilled, but then if you go around talking about uh, how, how things are not right, we're not happy together, it's not like old times, well then now you're not in fulfillment anymore. You want to match your inner speech, you want to match your inner story, you want to match your talking, and even your outer talking, everything, your new story. Remember, your story, as we talked about yesterday, is your total life experience right now. Match your total life experience right now to your imaginal scene, to your wish fulfilled, to your imagined end, right? So what's the key? Become one with your desired end or your wish fulfilled and your natural state of fulfillment, your I am, will move you to the full manifestation in 3D. Do you hear this? Become one with that fulfillment. Become one with the desired end. But don't, don't just go from, don't go and in, jump into an imaginal act from a state of feeling unfulfilled. Connect, hook up the H, hook up the source, hook up to your I am, right? Hook up to that fulfillment first, become one. Then imagine the I, imagine that simple scene or just assume it's done or assume that that will happen. Claim it, claim that wish fulfilled, become one with that desired end and your natural state of fulfillment that I am will move you to the full manifestation of 3D. Stop resisting and trying to cope with doubt and other negative beliefs. Just accept they are there and move back to your targeted end of, end of fulfillment. Do you hear this? Now we don't have nothing to fear of fear, nothing to doubt with doubt, right? We, we accept it, we bring it in, we, we know it's there. We, we accept that that's one possibility and we select the other. We move back to our, to our end or our fulfillment. Allow the fear of non-fulfillment to exist, then let it go. Once you allow it to exist, and, and, and now you can just let it go. Let go of the attachment to the outcome. Have fun, guys, playing the imagining game. So one of you mentioned the game of life. This is the game of life. It's the imagining game of life. That, those are the three steps to wish fulfilled. It's so done. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button. Like and share our, our, um, <clears throat> our videos. That's how we get our message out. Hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful. You can follow us on, and also join our group, 
the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors on Facebook. And you can follow us anytime on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen or visit our website at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. Until next time, with great love, with great light, this is Tom. See you soon.